Welcome back, and in this video, we're going to walk you through how to check your opt-in page and make sure it is all working. A little bit of context, in case it's been a minute since you saw the last video, if you're watching this on YouTube, just follow along in the playlist. We are walking through how to set up the list builder snapshot in high level. If you are following along in our online learning portal, then just follow along the videos, follow the bouncing ball. Uh, to give you a little bit of context, by now you should have imported the snapshot into your high level account. Uh, you should have set up your free resource and uploaded that into the media library. Uh, got Copied the link for your free resource and pasted it into your trigger links and set up the form which people are going to fill in to request access to that free resource. Now we're going to actually look at the opt-in page where that form goes and how we're going to trigger a pop-up for people to fill in that form. I am logged in again to my demo version of High Level, which is called Rockstar CRM, so there's no data in here. It does look a little bit different to your version of High Level, but it is High Level through and through. So come over to the Sites section here, and it will default to the Funnels tab, and then we have the Agency Mavericks List Builder Funnel in this folder, which is where you wanna be and I'm just going to use the dark funnel. You've got three funnels here. They're all exactly the same. I just changed the color on a few components, but really, I'm not here to win any design awards. Uh, these are just starters to get you moving in the right direction. Please design them yourself and apply your own brand guides to them. Don't publish these and expect them to work. I mean, they might, but they're not designed. They're deliberately kind of black and white, right? With just a little bit of styling to get you started. So I'm just gonna look at the dark funnel here. And there are two steps in this funnel, it's very simple. There's an opt-in page and a thank you page, that's it. The purpose of this funnel is to build your list. That is it, we have a whole other snapshot around booking appointments for your high ticket services, and we have other snapshots coming, including paid discovery. Uh, but this funnel, this snapshot is all about building your email list. So two pages, the opt-in page and the thank you page. So the opt-in page is the first one here. Just come down here to the edit button and edit the opt-in page in the page builder. And I'll walk you through the components of the opt-in page and tell you what you need to check. So when the opt-in page loads up in the page builder, you'll notice uh, that you can hover over everything and change whatever you want. And if you're a seasoned high level user, then please forgive me. Um, if you're brand new, then you just hover over the elements here, click on them, and then you can change whatever you wanna change. So if you wanna change your logo, Come here, click on the button, upload from media library and change, you know, upload your logo into a folder called brand assets and change the logo however you want to, right? You need to do some work to make sure these pages fit your brand. And then change whatever is in square brackets. Attention plumbers in New Hampshire, attention online coaches, attention agency owners, attention whoever. Um, access the free resource and start receiving benefit. So for example, you could say, Attention plumbers in New Hampshire, access the Google My Business checklist and start getting more customers from Google without spending any more money on ads. For example, here's what you get, three features here expressed as a benefit. So, you know, uh, if you haven't, if you've never written benefits before, what you do is you list out the feature of the thing and then you add the words so that or so you can to the end of the sentence and then you fill in the sentence. And what comes after so you can is the benefit. Here's what you get. A checklist to optimize your Google My Business listing so you can get more customers from Google without spending any more money on ads. So that you can appear in the Google Maps pack and get more interest from local customers, whatever the thing is. Add a description here of what happens once they request access to the free resource. So you'll say something like, we'll deliver this immediately to your email address so you can start using it today. Then there's a button, and then there's a hero image of the thing here. I'll come back and talk more about that in future videos. As featured in, and then we have some, uh, some placeholders here for some logos. If you haven't been featured in any thing, then just remove this section from the page, right? Here for me, I would put high level, entrepreneur on fire, duct tape marketing, whatever, right? WP Engine, whatever, wherever I've been featured. Uh, you might, you can also maybe put clients we've helped and put some client logos there with permission, of course. Then there's an open letter to all plumbers in New Hampshire or online coaches or digital agency owners, whoever your target audience is. 
And I've given you some instructions here on how to write this open letter. This for me is a transparency play. It just tells them why I'm giving this away, why I think it's important and what they can expect to get from it. So I've given you instructions here. You could probably just take this and feed it into ChatGPT as a prompt and get ChatGPT to write the thing for you. Um, or you could just spend 10 minutes and write it yourself, which would be my recommendation, by the way. Handwritten signature here is nice. You can just go to any you know, Google handwritten signature or handwritten font, type your name, save it as a PNG, and then your photo. I'll show you an example of this in a moment from Agency Mavericks where we give away one of our free resources. So I'll show you what this actually looks like in the real world, your name, title, and your company. And then three reasons you should use the Google My Business checklist in your plumbing business. For example, and again, benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, brief description of the benefit as applies to their specific situation with a placeholder image. Uh, the button again, get instant access. And then here are some of the target audience we've helped receive benefit. Here are some plumbers in New Hampshire we've helped get more customers from Google. And then you just put some testimonials here, right? If you don't have any, just take this section out and make it a priority to go get some testimonials because social proof trumps everything, okay? And another call to action at the end. Let me show you what this looks like in the real world. If I go to this opt-in page here, it is an opt-in page for the paid discovery template pack. So attention digital agency owners, get the paid discovery template pack and start getting paid to pitch. That's the benefit. There's a picture of the thing. Here's what they get. I'll put a link to this underneath this video somewhere so you can go check it out. Um, there's the button as featured in, blah, blah, blah. An open letter to all digital agency owners. That's who I am. Three reasons you should do this. There's the button. We've also got some extra stuff here where we you know, get to meet the team. Uh, there's the testimonials. You know, The more testimonials, the better. There's the call to action and there's the footer. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the real world. Here's your version here. Now what you wanna check, the most important thing you wanna check here is that when I click this button, it's gonna trigger the pop-up. So click on the button, come over to the properties inspector and make sure that the button action says open pop-up. And then come up to pop-up settings and have a look at the pop-up. And here you can edit what's in the pop-up. You might wanna change this, the color of this uh, to you know green or you know whatever you wanna do. Uh, there are some different types of progress bars here. Uh, get the GMB checklist and start getting more customers for free, whatever the headline is. And then most importantly, you wanna click here and make sure that this is the form that you have checked in the previous video. So whichever form you are using, you wanna make sure that that form appears here. And I've just got here, you know, free resource request will be the form that I wanna put in here and uh, then make sure that the button action on this form goes to the next step in the funnel. In the form builder, you can actually say what you want to happen when someone fills in this form, and then you could choose use action from form builder. You could send them off to a particular URL, or you could go to next step. I want them to go to the next step because then I can use the high level stats and split tests and all that kind of good stuff to make sure this page converts. So I'll always make sure that this form goes to the next step. So that's what the pop-up looks like. Now, there is some custom CSS. <laughs> there is some custom CSS to get rid of all of this padding. Uh, I think if you come up into here, you might see here, there is some custom CSS to get rid of that padding. You can feel free to ignore that, or if you're a nerd and you're bored, you can dive in and you can try and fix it yourself. Um, but more importantly, what I wanna make sure is that this pop-up if I look at the pop-up settings, I want us to come down here and make sure that this pop-up also shows on exit. So this pop-up will show when anyone clicks the button, I'll just refresh this page, when anyone clicks this button, any of these buttons, the pop-up will show, or if somebody's on the page and they haven't clicked the button and they go to exit, the pop-up will also appear, okay? So that's what you wanna make sure there, is that the pop-up is set to show on exit, and also that all of these buttons on the page lead to opening the pop-up, right? And that is it for the opt-in page. There's some more detail coming in future videos around uh, social proof and how to add this and the tool that we use for it. Use 
the instructions on this page that you've got in the snapshot to fill in the benefits, use ChatGPT or some kind of AI writing tool if you need help or hire a copywriter or just spend half an hour and do it yourself so that it's authentic and make sure it's designed and it's on brand and also make sure that you check it on mobile. I'm not promising that this has been built mobile first because it hasn't been. So you wanna make sure that the experience is good on mobile and the high level mobile editor is getting better and better by the day. So click on mobile mode and make sure this works well on mobile because let's face it, most internet traffic these days is on mobile devices. This video is sponsored by High Level. I've said it before, I'll say it again, they have no control over what I say in these videos, but they did send me this fancy light to put on my set, which was kind of nice. Uh, the reason this is sponsored by High Level is because I firmly believe High Level is the best software to use to manage your online business from a sales and marketing automation point of view. And if you're an agency, it's just a fantastic, business model to use High Level to manage your own business and also your clients. I've been using and recommending High Level for over two years before they decided to sponsor me. So uh, I'm saying this because I genuinely believe that High Level is a great solution and I use it to run my own multiple seven figure a year business. In the description below, I'm gonna leave a link where you can sign up for a 30 day free trial for High Level using my affiliate link. If you do continue past the 30 days, obviously I will make some affiliate commission, which helps the channel. I'm also gonna leave a link where you can get the snapshots that we're talking about in these videos. And I'm also gonna leave a link to our game plan for agency owners. If you just wanna know exactly what to do next to grow your agency, click the link and go through, answer the questions and get a tailored game plan to help you grow your agency over the next 30 days. And hey, if you ever wanna to talk to a human, just click the link in the description and book a time to chat with one of our friendly team and we'll hopefully get you moving in the right direction. If you like these videos, please click the thumb that points up. It helps us come up in the algorithm and uh, share, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. Tickle the bell to get notified when we put out new videos. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.